Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be discussing Love and Hip Hop Season 11, Episode 15. This was the episode where Erica Mina was basically kicked off the show. Um, I think it's indefinitely, but I guess we will see. So the episode starts off with Erica Mina saying, hey, you know what? I blacked out. I don't know what I even said. I just know I literally blacked out. And um, I can understand that, right? Ever been in an argument, ever been in a fight and you just black out and you say the most random shit? I get it. However, what I also realize is when I do black out and I do start spewing all those hateful things, it's hateful things that I've had bottled up for a while. Those are things that I've thought. Those are things that I've allowed to foster on the, on the inside that is now let being let out because I am blacking out and I no longer can filter what it is that I need to say. So that monkey comment was laying deep down inside of her. She has thought that about Spice and because she blacked out, that's when she said it. So for that reason, that's not an excuse, Erica Mina. Um, the whole um, monkey slur, I feel like she she wasn't remorseful for it she wasn't remorseful when she first initially watched the clip in the playback she wasn't remorseful when she spoke to yandy about it she just was not showing any form of remorse and i'm just like at the end of the day like if you're not remorseful for it and if you're not seeking or trying to be educated on it then get out of here like and she's like oh well you know what i, I date black men i have black children I've been around women who are white, who are Spanish, who are different um, races from from the black community, and they will date the black man and have the black children, but hate the black woman. You can't like one part of our culture or love one part of our culture, but hate the other. Like they love the black men, they love the cute black kids, but at the end of the day, excuse me for hearing any noise. They hate the black women, and it's like you. We we're tired of that. We're tired of you accepting what you want and leaving us like we're scrums. Absolutely not. I do feel like though Spice really needs to work on her anger. Like she really needs to calm down. Like calm all the way down as it relates to the Bambi situation, as it relates to the Erica Mina situation, as it relates to the Carly Red situation. Now the Carly Red situation is a little bit different. We're going to jump into that, but I do feel like she needs to calm down and she can't allow her own insecurities about her blackness to dominate and, and, and allow people and allow that to be a trigger for her because the minute someone brings up her skin color or her darkness or whatever because I guess she's probably been told that she's been dark all her life it's like one of those tough spots that does become like one of her wounds where it does become trigger a triggering for her but she has to heal that you can't just become triggered every time that conversation of your darkness comes up because you're a dark beautiful woman and that's how it is like that you have to own it right um Sierra apologizing to Scrappy was to me the highlight of the show you see how Sierra went um fighting Scrappy about Bambi but Bambi was going to sit there all cozied up with Scrappy while they were beefing I hope y'all get what I'm saying Sierra and Scrappy is beefing because Sierra got into a fight about Bambi while Bambi and Scrappy is there all cozied up at the Bahamas. I'm like, look at this. That's why you should never ever get into anybody's business because what the hell? But she apologized to Scrap and they let it go. Now the Spice and the Carly Red situation, I feel like Spice, as it relates to their friendship, knows best. Like, you know, like you ever had those friendships where you're like, I don't, I don't mess with her. I don't mess with her no more. I don't mess with her no more. And everybody's like, why don't you mess with her? Why don't you mess with her? You don't even have to explain it. You know it best. So I feel like Spice knows why she doesn't mess with Carly Red. With renting out the house and having all these different people in and out the house, knowing that Spice have a family across the street, you should have never, not once, even had bought that house especially if spice told you no so in that situation carly you're dead wrong and i hate the fact that sometimes and this is to bring it full circle that not because spice is the one that's always yelling means that she's the one that's always wrong in the carly red situation she does need to calm down a little bit but she's not totally wrong in the carly red situation so that is what i have to say about this we are about to move on to um and then Erica Mina ended up getting the boot at the end of the episode, but we're about to move on to episode 16 and we'll see how that goes later. Stay tuned for the recap.